Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. First round matchup between Dixie Flatline and Skaven versus Balint and Lizardmen. Uh, Dixie Flatline has a wizard and two babes. And uh, yeah, the, both both Chalice first timers, I believe. Haven't really heard of either of them. You know, obviously could be alts. Who knows? Um, got a Lizardman team. Pretty decent Lizardman team actually. Bunch of guard. Uh, three, four, five. Only five. Only five. So no, there's six souls. I didn't see that one. One, two, three guarders. Four guard total. No, it's not that good. Okay, two. Yeah, kids. Okay, Fuck off four guard though, it's better than some teams. Better than some Lizardman teams. A lot of SPPs in the skink, loads of sidestep, which is like, you know, it's okay having sidestep on them, but it's a lot of TV for not much value. Edge is really nice, oily nice. Um, and the Skaven have a strength up Wrestle Horns. A strength four re Wrestle Blitz, wherever you want. A Garda and a Natty. And an induced, <laughs> a mercenary, a mercenary gut runner. For the eleventh man, for the twelfth man, and a throw on the uh, bench. So yeah, this is weird. This is a really weird skaven team. This is basically a really low TV, pretty shit lizard man team, and a super low, terrible skaven team. But the skaven team has a natty. So really, I would have not fielded the natty here, and uh, and laid down and not defended at all, and you know gone for a natty score. Then you won one at half time, and then see what happens in the second half. Um, yeah, I think you have to bench your natty here. The natty is like the only way you win this game, right? It's like the only way you win this game. It's a terrible skating team, it's, and it's all you have. Hello, Noalius. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, the Noalisius is a is a great uh, great name for the rogues as well, isn't it? Genius. Hello, Gilliam. There's been three uploads a day recently, no alias. Natty, natural one turner, big chi chi. Um, natty with a Y, really, but yeah, this is movement 10 with sprint and show feet. So it can start here and then go 10 squares and then three more and just score a one turn without requiring pushes. There you go. So it's pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> And pretty much the only thing this Skaven team has going for it. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a fantastic quote there. <laughs> as wrong as you possibly can be. <laughs> it's literally exactly what they do. Imagine exposing your, uh, your gutter for this assist though instead of a lineman. Yikes. Big yikes. You just have to protect these two. Well, I, really, this one. Really, just this one. But all you got is just all, just have to protect your cutters. But instead, exposes a gutter and gets it killed. Lovely. Yeah, this was this was definitely a just hide half. Honestly, like there's no way you, you're doing anything. I mean, he's got a wizard, so like, you know. In wonderful fantasy land, you pulled and get the ball somehow. But in the real world, it's not happening. But I mean, that, that's why he fielded the natty, wasn't it? The dream. Like, you could have the natty here, right? Last turn, you, wanted, you should have put the natty there instead of just putting that gut, gutter there. And you could have had, like, another couple of gutters here. Or whatever, like a gutter here and a gutter here. Maybe it's one, two, three, right, with the other gutters. And then the natty there. So the natty's like just literally in range to score. Like this is, putting it here is terrible, right? It's just terrible putting it here. Put it here so that if something insane happens and you get the ball, you can just score. Wow. 
well, gets a lizard man off. But there's absolutely zero defense. I hate this blitz. There's a, there's a strength for blitzing gut runner here with armor six. I think he should be blitzing this guy. And also scooting forward. This is absolutely no pressure. You can completely keep it just as safe as it is here. But here, there's absolutely no reason to not move forward. I guess the 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 uh, the Crocs was stupid, and he thought it could have been a trap, but it wasn't a trap. It was just shit. <laughs> like, there's just nothing. Is there's nothing on this Gaven team? It's, ba it's basically zero resistance. This this match is like a self defense uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a women women self defense video. That's what this that's what this match is. <laughs> Absolutely zero resistance. Oh, oh, those are the ones. You know when they have those judo, the judo demonstration things or taekwondo. What what is it? What is it that uh, Seagal does? They're hilarious, aren't they? They have some old dude and everyone just throws themselves everywhere. God. Crocs is in. And now this turn, they're much more susceptible to a wizard, probably. No, maybe not. Maybe they'll play it safer. But if he's going to cage down here, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's got a smaller area to play with than last turn. Last turn had a much bigger area to play with. Maybe it was the st stupid crocs. Stupidy. What a hit. And now we have minimal resistance. Not really. I think we're still on no resistance. But it's a no resistance that's like, you know, allowed hits on gutters all, all drive long, which is not what you should do if you're planning a zero resistance drive. <laughs> Blitzing a wrestler. Yeah, I hated that sitting back that turn. I've hated a lot of the blitz targets. I've hated pretty much everything about this game, to be honest. <laughs> um, but to be fair, Balint has been pretty, you know, pretty careful against the wizard. Like you know, to be fair, it's been pretty good shapes, pretty good shapes to, against the wizard for the most part. You know, like get back and forth so that surround it. You know, gonna have to be a really lucky wizard. But having said that, now after all, after just finishing that sentence, this is a pretty good, pretty good fireball there. Because any two, you're getting your hands on the ball. Uh, didn't go for the wizard. Probably should have fireballed there, honestly. This would have been right. Looking at this. So, there's a gutter here. If. If any two players go down. Oh, okay, not these two. So, both of those go down, or one of those, and the ball goes down. Um, or just the ball. No, if the ball goes down. If the ball goes down. So, that's 50 50. And then if this goes down but not the ball. And then if both of these go down. Um, so you know the, the, it's not a terrible not a terrible wizard. You could come in with a wrestle and then Natty comes in, picks it up. 
and gets it with this one who then fucks off. It wouldn't have been a terrible wizard. It's probably the best chance he's going to get in the entire game. Apart from he does have the natty still, so, you know. There's, an, there's certainly an argument for just hanging on to the wizard, not defending at all, and, you know, cross that bridge when you come to it. But I feel like if, you know, if you're not going to... I don't know, like, if you're not gonna... If you're not gonna go for that, just don't feel the natty at all on defence, you know? Like, the reason to play the natty on defence at all is to go for that if it presents itself, isn't it? Risky... A bit of a risky reroll in turn 7, isn't it? But, I mean, you've got to reroll it. Completely reasonable reroll. Not even reasonable. Correct. Really gonna pack it, pack it in for a wizard. Well, maybe we'll see a wizard this turn. A bit of a meat cube. So now there's five players under the wizard. Or yeah, the yeah the front ones, right? Oh, that's, that's pretty tempting wizard again. It's funny, you know, after like being so reluctant to take the space on the earlier turns. See, but the problem with wizarding now is you've only got two turns, and it was a bolt, and you, you've got us back here, so like, okay, they are fast enough, but you've only got two upright gutters. It's just, it just was a shit wizard. That was worse than last time. Plus, I thought I preferred the big fireball, honestly, because there's just a lot round the ball. Like, he doesn't have an edge five or edge six plate to come in and get it. Or even a big hand. I mean, okay, this is kind of badge five, but that was a bit of a shit wizard. I kind of hated that. Might be enough. Like to be fair, it might be enough. Yeah, it, it stops the score, doesn't it? So after saying that, I hate it. It's it almost certainly stops this. Well, not almost certainly. About fifty percent of the time, it stops the score. You'd be wrong. You'd be wrong, Sato, wouldn't you? But he's not handling... Or is it, is it, he's in GFI range. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, he's in GFI range. Now, well, there you go. But it would have almost certainly stopped the score because he was he was hitting the other skink and bolting that. So... There was a real good chance of stopping the score. Like, if he hadn't picked... If he hadn't caught it, there would have been a real good chance of stopping the score. Really. I guess he should have uh, blitzed that ball carrier somehow, right? Even if he just got uphill, uphill on him uh, to push him back. Yeah, so it's been weird. It's been weird play, honestly. Both sides, it's not been... Not been what I would call optimal plays. Does he realise he's got a natty here? Hello? Yeah, indeed, Sato, yeah, because the score doesn't matter if this guy just scores back. A literal non-defense, okay, interesting. Not a Swordlands player, no. <laughs> no. Is it Britnoth, was it? Britnoth. Imagine slagging off Swordlancers. Outrageous. The literal best build in Battle Brothers and saying it sucks. How outrageous. How outrageous is that? They are literally the best. Like, oh, they're so insane. It's three times the damage. <laughs> He's not blitzing. Okay, I was going to say that. Uh, imagine if he blitzes this one. <laughs> I wouldn't have been that surprised if he blitzed that one and, and then burst the night. The I was anti sword. Well, I was anti swordlands in terms of, you know, the idiot backline builds that people do, right? I was against the. Well. Actually. <laughs> Can I tell the truth, Red Hair? 
Can I tell the truth? That that was a, that was I remembered incorrectly there. It wasn't a lie. I thought the sword lance was the was the sword. You know that's four AP. The two handed sword that's four AP for one attack. Um, the d d double handed sword that's four AP for an attack. That's literally what I thought the sword lance was. And then I found out what the actual sword. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was a war brand, and that is shit. So that is literally what I thought it was. Yeah. And I hate the backline sword lance builds. Like backline sword sword lance builds are terrible, absolutely terrible. But frontline sword lance, oh baby. Well, there you go. There was a ninety score there. It was that exciting. Um, Battle Brothers talk took preference. Um, there should be regret for not blitzing the natty. Yes, there should be deep regret for not blitzing the natty. There's, he's had several chances to hit the natty. Has not taken any of them. There's injured players, so like you know, it just you just gotta hit. You gotta hit the natty. You gotta hit the natty. You just gotta. It's too good. Yeah, it's it's fair enough. Man. Sword lances are super super exciting. Now the question is, does he just score with a natty again? And then, uh, you know, wait for overtime, 50-50, win. Or try and stall it as long as possible. Maybe the whole half. Try for a daka daka. Here I go again. Hello, Plo. Ah, not bad, thanks. Just missing Battle Brothers right now. <laughs> Talking about sword lances. <laughs> Getting withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> I haven't played Battle Brothers for a good 12 hours and it's showing. <laughs> nah, just, just joking. But randomly talked about Battle Brothers. It was Hammers' fault for bringing up somebody who was slating sword lances. But, you know, I understand it. I understand somebody banging on sword lances because at the end of the day um, at the end of the day the thing about Battle Brothers is it's a really easy game and whatever you do works so you know people say oh well this works and this works and this works and it's, yes they all work you know and it's like it's like Blood Bowl if you're playing Blood Bowl against the AI you know like if you were playing Blood Bowl against the AI and then you would say you know pass plot's really good and then somebody better than you would be like well actually <laughs> <laughs> Actually, blocks better than pass block. But the thing is, it doesn't matter because everything works against the AI, doesn't it? Uh, I haven't, I haven't played it in a while, yes. I haven't played it. Mr. Yamadem very nicely got it for me, but uh, I've not played it because it's not Battle Brothers, and I know I like Battle Brothers, so I haven't felt the need to play something that isn't Battle Brothers. Uh, basically, that's that's about a simple. I'm I'm a simple I'm a simple man. Once I find something I like. That's it, I don't feel the need. Like, you know, I don't understand this obsession. Everyone's got this obsession with, like, millions of DLCs and everything, you know? Everyone's like, oh, I want DLCs, I want DLCs, I want DLCs. And it's like, I don't, I'm fine. Like, if I like a game, I like a game, that's fine. This isn't a double screen here. I'm going to put in this gutter here. Or there, that's fine. Mushroom. Stay in your mushroom patch. Blitzing a wrestler. Not punished. Gets the removal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably should have followed up this. Not basing. Literally not basing everybody with fucking lizard men. <laughs> ah! <laughs> how, do you, how do you base with your crocs and not all of your team of fucking strength you've got as much strength 4 as he has strength 3 literally base everybody what why not what I would have done but who can say if it's good or bad well I think it's bad this could have been based all up and then his edge three players can't move freely. 
and then they're all edge three, they're all strength three, everyone's out strength, out blocked, out guarded. You leave him no good options apart from the move he's got us around. And then next turn you knock down all the strength three players and put a bit more pressure on, a bit more pressure on, and then they make a break and then you can skip them. Or eventually they fail something. And you get the you get them. Carry on! Carry on! Try to pause. <laughs> Hello, five year. Oh, baby. Oh yeah, I wasn't in the booth already. Never mind. I'm in the booth now. Glorious guys. Hello, Hello. five year. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hi there. How you doing, mate? <laughs> How are you today, sir? Uh, good, good. I did a lot of work and uh, clean the house and all that. You know, I want to this days off. Mm. Probably at some point I'll have to leave for a while because uh, five minutes or so because I'm waiting for my Tesco delivery driver. Bring, bring me the goods. <laughs> He's watching the stream. A little late for that, but look at this weak link here. The Crocs. Gets a bit lucky there, doesn't he? Very lucky that he didn't get the POW. I wonder if he should have re-rolled that there. Because the POW gets everybody through. And the both down gets nobody through. I wonder if that should have been a re-roll. Oh, wow. This is this is horrible now. Everyone's going to, like, this is going to get collapsed in on hard. Hard and fast. It's not looking good for the rats. No. The lizards have to base now. They have to assault this cage. They should have done some safe moves first, by the way, which they haven't. Like making two one in nine blocks. Another one in nine. A really game? Another one. They made three one in nine blocks and stopped the block their path there. If that had been. Well, I guess they would push the other way. Like, get your crocs in, get these in, get everything in. Oh, make crocs in the ball is okay, actually, isn't it? GFI to get the crocs in the ball. Make the dodge away 2+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, just stand him up. <laughs> just stand him up after making two 1 in 9 blocks. Brilliant. Three 1 in 9 blocks, then just stand him up and don't move him. Amazing. Hmm. I think I had to reroll that hit on the Crocs because just everyone was through that turn. No and God. he has uh, three rerolls. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, yeah, I think he had to reroll that, that hit on the Crocs. Now he's just uphilling. He's seen Chunt to play. And he wants to, uh, he wants to replicate him. And succeeding three plus dodges is definitely part of that. <laughs> oh, this one, the. Oh, it doesn't re-roll that. Uh. Oh God. <laughs> there is a chance. There is a hit on the ball. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I would have done. Uh. Who can say if it's good or bad? Defending the ball is super easy. <laughs> he missed that chunter's dream, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This block here should have been the first one. That one that they did uh, up there, it was just a push. Yeah. Should have, uh... Wait, who's going to hit the ball? This might oh, be. Right, okay, okay, okay. A lovely 3D. It's the power. IMAX 3D. <laughs> yeah. the pow. Gets the armor wreck. Oh, that ball is in a nice place. Really nice, yep, and the stun is huge. And this looks like a done deal now for the yeah. Lizard. Pretty much right. Just two GFIs. And the ball is totally safe in the cage. Zico, I remember him. 
Are these all footballers? No. say if it's right or wrong but words will never hurt me yeah what happened to that that used to be a thing wasn't it whereas now i guess the internet age people bitch and cry about words all the fucking time don't they <laughs> oh he finally uses a re-roll and it's on the lawn end it's on it's the lawn probably a stand yes a... <laughs> oh, not nice. good not nice re-roll mate where'd you get it yeah, that, yeah, he had to he had to reroll the hit on the Crocs earlier, and he had to reroll that one D, or do dodge away with the, uh, you know, do a dodge with the thrower and then make that a two D or whatever. Yeah, but I think I think the critical thing was the breakthrough. More overall, probably whole tech. Because it's super easy to get the, you know, adds a lot of consistency to the move now. One turns. Everyone can get the movement now easily, right? Every every Wood Elf team can just get a plus move player. Every High Elf team can get a plus move player. Every Pro Elf team can get a plus move player. Just guaranteed. Natty's probably, m you know, meta-defining. Yeah. Blood both well not really meta defining is just orcs smashing into orcs completely brainlessly is <laughs> is what it's going to be but you know at the high end play it would be it would be natties however there's probably no point doing that in ladder because ladder's just going to be orcs smashing into each other oh three red dice mm. nice roll mate <laughs> yeah yeah, don't save your rerolls till the game's lost. That is a is a good tip. Um, so there you go. That's. But you know, congrats to both of them for qualifying. You know, and uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Yep. No, nothing. You know, nothing mean meant to anybody. <laughs> I mean, if they, are, uh, if they will rewatch the game, they will see there were obvious mistakes there, so there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's, there's worse things to be than playing suboptimally a children's video game from a board game from 1994. <laughs> like, it's, it's nothing, is it? It doesn't matter at all. Nobody should care about anything anybody says about how they played a little kid. Oh, game. that's a test call driver just on time before the end of the game. Well, hey. I like this half meat cube here. Nearly made a full meat cube, but chickened out. <laughs> and I also allowed all the chain except there's the, the side steppers, but could fill in the side steppers. So he, I think he spotted the right play here. Oh no, he's blitzing. He didn't spot the right play here. What he could have done is though. Oh no, he's got sidestep. No, never mind. Would have just sidestepped there. Well, there you go. Um, congratulations to Ballant and commiserations to Dixie Flatline. Um, not to be confused with Dixie Normus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, what can you say about that match? Not much. Um, thanks, Fymir, for coming on and joining us. Made it, made it more amusing. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.